Responding to climate change is a common challenge faced by all mankind and concerns the future of mankind. In recent years, global energy transformation has become a major issue of common concern at home and abroad. In 2023, China's foreign trade in new energy industry-related products, new energy vehicles, lithium batteries, photovoltaic products, the total annual export exceeded 1 trillion yuan, of which the production and sales of new energy vehicles both exceeded 9 million, ranking first in the world for nine consecutive years. In the first quarter of 2024, China's photovoltaic power generation capacity increased by 45.7 per million kilowatts, of which centralized photovoltaic increased by 21.93 million kilowatts, and distributed photovoltaic increased by 23.81 million kilowatts. China's new energy industry represents events production capacity, which not only enriches global supply and eases global inflation pressure, but also makes great contributions to global climate change and green transformation. The new three represented by new energy vehicles, lithium batteries, and photovoltaic products have become an important symbol of China's manufacturing, moving towards high-end, intelligent, and green. But its rapid development has also brought about discussions on overcapacity. Overcapacity refers to the fact that the total production capacity of an industry far exceeds market demand. When discussing capacity in the context of economic globalization, should comprehensively observe it from three perspectives, supply and demand, global market, and future development. Under market economy conditions, supply and demand balance is relative, and imbalance is the norm. To solve this imbalance, must mainly rely on market forces and adjust it according to the law of value. It should be pointed out that capacity is not a product. Overcapacity does not mean that too much product can't be sold, but that the production capacity of enterprises is not fully utilized. Moderately advanced capacity investment is a common choice for industrial development, especially for emerging industries. In the first quarter of 2024, China's industrial capacity utilization rate above designated size was 73.6%. At the inventory level, China's raw material inventory index was 48.1% in March. From the perspective of industrial profits, China's industrial profit margin showed a sustained growth trend. In addition, China's new export order index was 50.6% which continue to expand, indicating that the overall export business of enterprises continue to improve. The International Energy Agency's report shows that by 2030, the global demand for new energy vehicles will reach 45 million, more than three times that of 2023. According to the Renewable Energy Generation Capacity Statistics 2024, released by the International Renewable Energy Agency, the global renewable energy generation capacity will increase by 473 gigawatts in 2023, while the annual renewable energy capacity required is close to 1100 GW. The current installed capacity is still far from the goal of adding 11,000 gigawatts by 2030. The International Renewable Energy Agency's calculations also show that in order to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement, the global cumulative install capacity must reach at least 5,400 gigawatts in 2030, which is nearly four times the global total installed capacity in 2023 and about nine times the total installed capacity in China. Obviously, the current global production capacity of new energy products is far from meeting the needs of the future market. The competitiveness of China's new energy industry benefits from its clear industrial layout, complete industrial chain, and large-scale economic advantages. China formulated and implemented relevant laws and policies early on. The Renewable Energy Law came into effect on January 1, 2006. The 2007 Medium and Long-Term Development Plan for Renewable Energy and the 2009 Automotive Industry Adjustment and Revitalization Plan 
successively proposed the development of low-carbon industries, such as solar energy and new energy vehicles. Since then, China has continued to provide a clear and stable policy environment for the development of new energy industries and actively promoted the innovation and industrial application of new energy technologies. China's economies of scale will help form a complete and competitive new energy industry chain. First, the strong manufacturing supporting capacity supports the new energy industry to form a relatively complete industry chain. China's manufacturing added value accounts for about 30% of the world's total, with a complete range of industries, a complete supporting system of new energy technologies. The efficient and coordinated manufacturing network provides comprehensive support for the development of all links in the new energy industry chain. After years of accumulation and development, China has a relatively complete new energy industry chain supply chain, such as a new energy vehicle industry chain, including power batteries, motors and electronic controls, complete vehicles and charging facilities, manufacturing equipment and recycling. Second, the super-large scale market can dilute costs and accommodate the competition and growth of multiple technical routes. The early stage of the development of the new energy industry requires large-scale R&D and equipment investment. China's super-large-scale market can help companies quickly dilute costs. Companies can enter the international market with the low-cost and high-performance advantages gained in the domestic market competition and have strong international competitiveness. At the same time, the huge market space provides enough tracks for different technical innovation routes and business innovation models, allowing products and companies that truly have competitive advantages and are in line with the direction of industrial upgrading to grow rapidly. The comparative advantages accumulated over a long period of time and dynamically evolving are the basic conditions for the rapid development of China's new energy industry. In recent years, China's new energy technology has been continuously upgraded. The factory endowment structure has changed profoundly, and the combination of digitalization and green transformation has strongly supported the rapid development of the new energy industry. First, the technology in the fields of new energy vehicles, wind power, photovoltaics, etc., is at the forefront of the world. China has seized the key time window for the transformation of automobile electrification, intelligence, and greening, and the technical level has been comprehensively improved, such as high-energy density batteries, high-efficiency drive motors, and electronic control systems have made breakthroughs. The average conversion efficiency of photovoltaic cells ranks among the top in the world, and technologies such as long blades and high towers in wind power are also at the international leading level. Second, the new energy sector is rich in talent and hardworking. A report jointly released by the International Renewable Energy Agency and the International Labour Organization shows that in 2022, there will be about 5.55 million people employed in China's renewable energy industry, accounting for about 40% of the world's total. The number of Chinese engineers accounts for one quarter of the world's total. Third, the increase in capital abundance has provided strong support for the development of technology and capital-intensive new energy industries. China has formed a number of high-level infrastructure assets, such as railways, power grids, transportation pipelines, energy storage, and charging piles, which strongly support the development of new energy industries. Fourth, the combination of digital economy advantages and green and low-carbon transformation has added more new momentum to the development of new energy industries. Digital empowerment has significantly improved the manufacturing and logistics efficiency of the new energy industry, with more timely customer responses, more active technological and business model innovations, and faster new product design and technological iterations. In December 2023, Gag Iron Smart Ecological Factory was selected into the Global Lighthouse Network 
of the World Economic Forum in Davos. It is currently the only new energy vehicle lighthouse factory in the world. At the same time, vehicle manufacturers are cross-border integrated with technology companies such as chips, software, and communications. And technologies such as autonomous driving and intelligent networking continue to develop. Intelligent applications and services closely connect cars with people's social activities. Throughout the development of industrialization and economic globalization in human society, advanced industrial production capacity has always been oriented towards global total demand, and the reasonable production capacity scale cannot be unilaterally framed by domestic market demand alone. Brought about by industrial development has greatly improved production efficiency. Countries rely on their respective advantages to participate in the international division of labor, and supply and demand have never been limited to one country. It should also be noted that the development of the new energy industry is accompanied by technological breakthroughs and rapid iterations. Effective production capacity and ineffective production capacity coexist and cannot be simply added up. New technologies often bring higher production efficiency and stronger market competitive advantages. At the same time, inefficient or even ineffective production capacity based on the previous generation or generations of technology will naturally withdraw from the market after a period of time. Simply adding up and concluding that there is overcapacity will inevitably deviate from the basic facts. Fierce market competition is often accompanied by the survival of the fittest and dynamic adjustment of production capacity. The new energy industry will also go through such a process. The production capacity scale of a certain period cannot be viewed statically. With people's social activities, it is normal for different enterprises to compete with each other and survive the fittest. During this period, production capacity will continue to enter, exit, transform, and adjust, which is in line with the general law of industrial development. It is impossible to stay at a certain point in time to view this dynamic evolution process. The new energy industry is in a period of rapid growth. Capacity construction is mainly to match future expected demand. Whether the capacity is excessive cannot be simply judged by current demand. Industrial development generally goes through stages, such as germination, growth, maturity, and decline. Demand tends to grow faster during the growth period. Enterprises have increased investment to meet future expected demand. In the short term, there will inevitably be a tide of investment and an increase in capacity 